Hello ladies and gentlemen, are you a fan of the way that browsers work nowadays? I know that I love bloated browser apps. Personally, I like it when there's so much RAM taken up from my Google Chrome that my computer crashes and I can't do anything so I have to install the extra extensions that limit the amount of tabs I have open. Oh, I also like it so much that the RAM usage is, is so skyrocketed that, that it might have to plug in my phone to power up my computer because my computer just can't get anything done anymore. I love it so much that I actively hate on Microsoft Edge all of the time. Have you ever heard about why Microsoft Edge sucks? Oh, 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 Microsoft Edge is awful, awful. Have you seen this? First of all, you can open up this on the side and you can interact with ChatGPT through Bing AI by asking it questions. You can compose and add different types of writing and you can even open up an insights tab that gives you a summary of articles and, and related videos that connect with, with the information that you see on your screen. I mean, truthfully, it, it's actually awful. I've never seen an app worse than this. Listen, I don't, it's been a while, Dimitri, and I, I know we like had our falling out and like you got canned or whatever, uh, or you canned me, I don't actually remember. But as your boss, I have to say, this might be one of the worst arguments I've ever heard for why a tool sucks. Really? Is it? Because that's what everyone's saying. I'm just saying what everyone's saying. Microsoft Edge is just bad, you know? Like it's really bad. There's like nothing good or redeemable about it at all. I mean, it just sucks. We talked in other videos about how ChatGPT sucks, but like clearly, you know, that was a joke. And you're telling me you can integrate the most advanced AI tools out there now, like right with the browser, right? And, and, and like Chrome can't do this. Yeah, so that's exactly what I'm telling you. So, so why does it suck? I, I thought, I thought it was, I thought everyone likes the tool. Well, I already established in a previous video that ChatGPT sucks. This is how people are thinking in real life, I guess. So my boss, Jerry, just doesn't seem to get it. But let me dive a little bit more why Microsoft Edge is just worse than Chrome, okay? If you do any sort of online shopping or you know any sort of calculations or anything, there's a, there's a widget and like sidebar for everything. Like if I went to Amazon right now, you know, just uh, went there, was like, you know what, I wanna get this coffee. Um, there's there's a entire section that shows coupons. No, no, nothing needed. Just just uh, no honey, just just this, you know, seventy percent cashback coupon. You know, really sucks that this exists. I don't need this in my life. I don't I don't want this at all. And for the rest of it, like I don't want integrated with my browser, a calculator or a translator or, you know, dictionary, multiple world clocks, um, timer, stopwatch, random numbers. I don't want any of these things. QR code, no, 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 no. Why would I want these? This is, this is stupid, this is gratuitous. There's never been anything inside of a browser that I could find that could be more dumb. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Uh, guys, I think he's going off the rails. Um, we've, we've done a lot of these blank app sucks videos and like, I never quite knew if he was doing a bit uh, uh, I'm speaking to the camera the first time in this series. Uh, I think this man is a problem. I, I, guys, can can I get some help here? I, I'm kind of stuck with a crazy person. Jerry, you've already been fired. I don't even know why you're back. The fact that you're here means that you've just not listened to me. I've canned you multiple times. You claim you're my boss, but whatever. And I'm just sick and tired of people bashing Google Chrome when it's clearly the superior tool even though Microsoft Edge was rated 112% faster uh, when it initially dropped than, than Chrome, I've always known that Microsoft are big dummy doo-doo liars and Google remains the most authentic platform in history. Never done anything sketchy. All their stuff is golden. Yeah, but like clearly the, the browser is better. It's just that the Chrome name has been popular for a while and yeah, they have a better browser and by default, you know, you can search with Google in the top bar, so it's better in that regard. Oh, so you're telling me because people weren't able to do a setting switch? Uh, they, they, they never bothered to, to give Microsoft Edge the time of day? Well, yeah, I mean, people usually complain about things irrationally without knowing, you know, the majority of how a tool works or how the end use case of that thing might be. They just, you know, see what it is as default and then assume that that's like what it is. That's the point of the entire series, guys. Those of you that stuck around long enough for me to point out that this series is a joke, enjoy.
because I find it so entertaining when the comment section inevitably has people only watch the first few minutes and then they leave a comment and then I reply with like a copy paste saying, this entire series is a joke. You should have watched to the end. Seriously though, you should try out Edge. It's pretty dang good. Uh, big fan of it. If you haven't tried it out yet, uh, quit, blind yourself, make the 30 second settings change by going here, settings, typing search engine, and then changing this uh, from Bing to Google as default, and then uh, then, you, then you guys can stop making your really weird assumptions about this tool that's clearly better than Chrome. And you can also watch more videos like this one on how to improve your productivity and even more, I don't, I don't know.